So day three at the Veco trip finds us heading into the factory, the factory that has been brought back to life to provide the production facility for the electric vehicles. They've got a group of the guys over there getting very excited about the hydrogen fuel cell vehicle and uh, the, uh, the other the sort of new livery for the electric truck just there. It's uh, very exciting and uh, we're going to get to see inside. However, me and my selfie stick, well, me, I'm allowed in, but my selfie stick, not so much. So Mike, from a personal experience, this has been a really exciting few days, you know, just working with the operators and, and the influencers within the sector around residual values and so on. How has it been for you? You're, this is your baby. Yeah, I mean, it's been brilliant to have some key account customers over because we can learn from each other. They're already on the journey. We're just about to embark on the journey with a new, uh, new product as well. So, you know, for us, it's about um, working together to understand how we can bring this product to market effectively for the UK and for UK operators. We're definitely at a place in the UK market now where operators want to start to embrace the technology and test and learn and understand. They're not going to change their whole fleet instantly, but I think what they understand is, is that they need to understand the technology and how it works for them before they scale it in their business. And so I think for us, it's, you know, going on that journey with the customer. Alan. I know that you have got a good technical mind on you and you were really loving getting in amongst it in the factory visit that we've seen, but what's been your experience over the last three days? I think I've really enjoyed seeing what Iveco's plans are. Um, they're obviously right ahead of the curve when it comes to this new technology, but perhaps more than that, I've enjoyed the way they facilitated me getting into discussions with the rest of my peers. Um, there's very little new in this world and usually the challenges or the issues that I have, someone's already dealt with. Tell me a little bit about what you've learned about the SE Way Electric. Yeah, um, yeah, been a really good, um, really good visit. I think it's um, good to talk to all the other operators and and uh, and the OEM here uh, of Echo. I think it really brings to light the the challenges ahead. Um, operators probably need to think in a more collaborative uh, way, for, particularly for long distance heavy haulage. This type of stuff will work perfectly for regional. Um, but for, for heavy haulage, we probably need to look at more hub and spoke arrangements, things like that, where it's the goods that need to move, not the vehicle. It's the trailer that's, that's carrying the goods. Yeah. Um, it, big battery for, for, for OEMs is going to be a, a huge challenge, um, but it's, it's been really good to, to listen to other people's thoughts and ideas on, on how we resolve this um, decarbonising of, of heavy haulage. Uh, Joe, tell me, what's your experience been over the last three days? It's been really, really enjoyable, really educational enlightening but actually I was just so impressed at how quiet and smooth and actually how quick the vehicles are. Speed in the context of um, fleet sort of seems counterintuitive yes. but explain why you think that's just valuable. I think it's the way the vehicles can you know move quickly you know from a stop start position you know if they're coming up to junctions it's got to be safer on the roads. And what about the driving experience? It was fantastic yeah the, the trucks are very quiet um, very smooth. Uh, I should imagine drivers are going to really enjoy the fact that there's less vibration, less fatigue at the end of a journey. Uh, they're going to feel more refreshed. Um, they'll be able to hear the radio. Um, positives all round. Um, and no, no dirty fuel, um, no diesel filling, no dirty hands, no, no horrible smells. So yeah, I think it'll be a really positive experience for, for, for the driver community. John, what's been your experience over the last three days? I've really enjoyed it, Paul. Um, I've really uh, found it fascinating in terms of all the technical aspects of the of the product. Um, clearly, there's a lot of conversations about uh, the effectiveness of, of uh, electric vehicles in, in the UK market. Um, so, seeing it firsthand in terms of how how they're built, why they're built the way they are, and what Iveco are trying to achieve has been really fascinating. Nigel, you run a lot of trucks. What has this experience been like? Paul, what a fantastic opportunity 
to not only see the development, the design, the mindset behind you know this new product. So in terms of the cab, the quality of the cab, absolutely fantastic. The drive of the vehicle, so smooth. Instant power, no lag, no waiting for a turbo to kick in, you know, as you do with a standard diesel engine. Fantastic, a real leap forward in technology. And has it given you confidence for the future? This is the future, we have to do this, we have to embrace this. When can we expect to see these vehicles on the road? Yeah, well, we're not far away from that uh, now, so we'll start to see the first vehicles land towards the end of this year. Uh, and then obviously as we scale up production for right-hand drive, we'll then start to see those numbers ramp up even more. I have to say that I have been absolutely buzzing these last few days. This vehicle, ah, it's phenomenal to drive. And I know that electric drivetrains make such an incredible difference to that whole experience. But to experience it firsthand, 20 ton up and, uh, you know, trekking round the track there here in Ulm, it's been amazing. Just that feel that the driver is going to get so many benefits. Now, of course, we know that the climate, we know the air quality, all of those things are important. But for me, giving the driver a clear benefit is exceptional. And the safety thing, as has been touched on, you know, that was brilliant too. So with uh, battery options from 280 up to 490 kilowatt hours, you are assured of something that will fit everybody's purpose. And what's been really interesting is that the guys that have been uh, kind of coming and asking questions, all really positive, all really kind of thinking, how can this work? We can see how it works. We can see how it gets adopted. This is going to be a technology that really makes a difference. And, and as Aveco said, you've got options today with CNG and HVO to decarbonize right now. But the future, for me, almost certainly seems to be electric. So say hello to the Aveco S-E-Way. Have a great day, everybody.